So you're wondering how you can get Forza Motorsports 8 or the new rebranded Forza Motorsports for $25 less and 16 hours early. Well, that's exactly what this video is going to show you. I'm going to break it down step by step for you and explain the whole process and what is going on. So let's start with how you get Forza cheaper. So this is for the premium edition, the edition you can play on October the 5th instead of October the 10th. So basically the way you're going to do this, and I'm going to be linking every single thing. There's going to be timestamps and chapters, and I'm going to be linking where you need to go. So what we are looking at here is CD key, guys. This, this reseller actually sells legitimate keys. I've used them many times over many games. I'm not affiliated. This is not an affiliate link, but I've used them before for my personal gaming needs. They're fantastic. So what you're going to want to do is go to the link I have in the video description and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Xbox slash PC WW. Now, what that means is this is a worldwide key. And as you can see, clearly, this can be activated in the United States. This can be activated if you're in the UK. Wherever you're at, this is going to be able to be activated. The reason you're going to be using this, guys, is because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be redeeming this code in the Microsoft Store. So you're going to be redeeming a code that's generally being sold for $100 plus tax, wherever you're at, for $76.89. So you're going to be saving about $24, $25 there. Because of how tax works, at least here in the U.S., the lower the price, the lower the tax is. So even though you're saving around $24, when it comes to actual tax, you're going to be saving more than that. You're probably going to be saving something between $27 and $29, at least where I am locally because I've already done this, I've already checked it out. The other advantage of this is unlike on the Steam store, you're going to be able to download early. You're going to be able to preload. So preload is already live. You're going to be able to preload your game. No problem. This is going to be fantastic for you. Now, I want to also note that if you did want to buy the standard edition, you could go and hit standard here, and you're going to be getting the game for 60 bucks versus about 79 So they're saying 85 because they're including tax. But basically, you're going to be getting it for about 60 bucks. So you can save uh, maybe between 19 and 23 bucks there. But this is assuming you want to play the game early. So we're going to be using premium, which normally costs $99.99. And now it's costing $76.89 plus tax. Now we're going to go into actually how can you play this game early. So the reason you can play the game early, and we're going to be looking at this right here, is because the new Forza actually has two different release schedules. So the one is for Steam. For Steam, it's very easy. The game releases tomorrow, October the 5th at 12.01 Eastern Time. So what that means is if you live in New York, if you live in New Hampshire, anything on the eastern side of the United States, it's going to be unlocking at 12.01 in Eastern Time globally. So it doesn't matter where you're in. If you're in Berlin, you're going to have to wait until it's 12.01 Eastern time. That's it. So for Steam, it's pretty locked down to one time zone. So this trick will not work. But if you're using the key that I just showed you and you're actually buying a key from CD Keys and redeeming it on the Windows Store, then it actually has a rolling release. And the weird thing is, is unlike Steam, if you're buying it from the Windows Store, it isn't that way. It's actually a rolling release based on location. So it's the easternmost time zone of wherever you're living. So what we're going to do is if you look here to the far, far east, you're going to see Auckland. So this is basically New Zealand time. Now, New Zealand time is well ahead of pretty much everywhere else in the world. So for instance, Auckland right now, if I go to New Zealand time, right now it's 6 a.m. in central time. So near Chicago, USA. So it's 6 a.m. Now in Auckland right now, it's midnight it's basically at in in the new day so it's around 16 hours ahead of where i live currently so depending on where you live depending on your physical location this is going to depend the further you go towards the date line so like if you're living let's say in like china you're not going to be gaining as much you're only going to be gaining maybe a couple hours uh, but if you're living in europe you're going to be gaining a solid 8 to 12 hours of play tomorrow uh, when the game is set to release. And if you're living in like Seattle, you're going to be gaining an immense amount of time. You might be gaining like up to 18 hours of play time. So the way we're going to basically do this for, it depends on what we're using. I personally use a PC. So for a PC, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing two different things. 
I'm going to be setting the time zone in my PC to New Zealand time. So I'm actually going to be going into the region settings and actually changing the region to New Zealand time. The second thing I'm going to be doing is basically restarting my PC. And then the third thing I'm going to be doing is using a VPN and connecting from that VPN to New Zealand. This isn't strictly necessary. A lot of people say that you don't actually need to use a VPN, but I'm going to be doing it just because I have had I have access to one and for safety. For the Xbox, it's even easier. You basically just change the Xbox's uh, region. You open the settings menu, select system, and then language and location. And then when you're in language and location, set your location to New Zealand. So I'm going to be leaving links to all of these right here. Now, personally, I play on PC, so this isn't going to be helping me about the Xbox. But I know that most people watching this video probably are on the Xbox. So I want to make sure that you can get to play the game early. If you're playing on the Xbox, you should absolutely do this because you're basically gaining one day of free playtime. And if you're buying the premium edition, that's probably one of the big reasons you're buying it is so you can play the game and not have to wait till the 10th. If you're playing on the Xbox, you just want to go into language and locations in the settings menu, switch your location to New Zealand, reset the console, you're going to be able to play early. So hopefully this video helped you. Basically, the whole idea here was to be able to get you to play the game for $25 less, which with tax is actually going to uh, come up to even more than that, and to play the game up to 16 to 18 hours early, depending on your location. So hit that like, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be making a lot of Forza Motorsports content. I'm really excited to play this game. I know you are too. So let's get into the game, guys. Use this guide, play the game early, and I'll see you in-game.